particular language, I took French. That French, I was being taught French in Tamil. Imagine two languages that you don't know. You don't know French, you don't know Tamil, but you're being taught another language through another language. So that was the reality. So, so, so funny. channel in today's video guys i'm going to share with you my expectation about india and reality things that i expected to see in india and the real things that i saw in india so guys without wasting time let's get started okay number one thing guys was language i thought india speak one language i didn't know that india have many languages i thought india speaks only hindi so when I came to India, I was surprised to know that India have hundreds of different languages. So that was expectation number one and the reality number one. Expectation number two, guys, was uh, religion. I thought that I was expecting India to have only one religion, that is Hinduism. I never knew that when I am a Christian, I never knew that if I come to India, I will see a church to go back. When I came to India, there are so many churches. We have uh, SDA, we have uh, Catholic, we have many churches, and um, we have other religions also, like Muslims are there, Buddhists are there also, and many other religions. So that was the reality. I was expecting to see only Hindus. So India has many religions, guys. It's It has freedom of worship. Okay, so another thing, guys, that I never uh, expected to see in India was population. I was I, I knew India is populated, but I never thought it's as populated as it is. So I thought maybe if populated is maybe twice my country or something like that. But guys, no, India is so populated. Another thing I expected about India also was I, I thought India is a small country. I thought. I knew it's big, but I didn't know that it's as big as it is. It's really big. India is a subcontinent, really, really big. Like, you can't explore the whole of India in a year. Like, it's really big, so big. So, I wasn't expecting that. That's the reality. India is big. I was expecting India to be really small and not as... I knew it's big, but it's not as big as I found. Another thing I expected about india is not safe uh back home uh before coming to india everybody was telling me that india is a very dangerous country it's very unsafe country crime rates are high in india so when i came to it i was expecting to be like the place is really like uh, people are cruel people people are not uh, hostile i was expecting to see hostile people and uh, people with some kind of attitude that's not friendly like that but the reality guys is the difference i was shocked india is safe like it's safe i won't say that there are no crimes in india there are crimes also just like any other country crimes are there but the way is, india is painted to to be outside there that's not what i came to find like that's not the india i the reality the, what i found is not the way I, I was told that oh india is really bad you don't need to work alone yeah true we, we need to be careful but <laughs> not as that scary as i told i i was told okay so india is safe you can do uh, you can go anytime and anytime anywhere you want to go and you will be safe so india the crime rate comparing india and my country the crime rate is not as high as my in my country though in big cities uh, crime rates are high but here where i am tamil nadu is is okay safe no nobody will bother you or anything like that so another thing also i expected uh, to see in india is um, people speaking english because i remember when i the requirement for my uh, uh, like my admission was I must be uh, as a English speaking a student so I was expecting that <laughs> I will be taught in English in class but when I reached here 
I was shocked. Like they teach their local languages in class. That's the reality here. So if you are coming to India as a student, you will be thinking that you will be taught in English because in the admission letter is is written that uh, classes are taught in English, right? But if, when you reach here, it's a different thing. Even you have to learn English when you come here. You will start grammar and all those things that you used to study back home. You will start here afresh. But that English is being taught in the local language, depending on which state you will be. For me, I'm in Tamil Nadu. I was taught in, in, in Tamil. I was taught English in Tamil first year. The whole year I was taught in uh, English in Tamil. The same thing here, you have to take um, three languages, two languages. Yeah, two languages. So, uh, local language, English, but because I didn't want to take local language, I took another extra language. I took French. That French, I was being taught French in Tamil. Imagine two languages that you don't know. You don't know French, you don't know Tamil, but you're being taught another language through another language. So, that was the reality. So, so, so funny. So, another thing also that I, I, I uh, another thing I expected is um, back home. If you watch uh, uh, what do you call it? Bollywood movies, their music, that all those uh, in, Indians that you see in TV, they are, they are, the way they are like like they are slim, they they, are, they have model body, they, like the way they are fair. So what I was expecting to see in India, what I have in my mind is all Indians have that kind of body slim, model body, and all Indians are fair, like smooth face, that imagination, right? So that was what I was expecting to see. Yeah, they are, they are, they are beautiful. Indians are really, really beautiful, guys. I'm, I wouldn't lie. They are really beautiful. Most of them, they have nice skin, but it's not as the way they are in, in TV, most of them. They have uh, dusky skin, just like me. Yeah, they have dusky skin, like dusky, like dark skin, like me. That you you never see in TV. So that was uh, the expectation. I was expecting to see really white people the way I normally see in Bollywood movies, in the Hindus advertisement and all that. But when I came here, I saw people that look exactly like me, and I was like, wow. So, so this is India. So I was like, really? You know, okay, in Tamil Nadu, uh, South India, most people are dark, okay? So I used to get confused thinking that we are many Africans, especially I came the time when uh, uh, there is this function, they normally shave their hair. They normally go to temple uh, to shave their hair and then they will, yeah, they know. Indians guys don't normally shave their hair unless there is temple, something they will do some rituals uh, temple rituals to shave their hair so normally if people shave their hair in Tamil Nadu you won't tell that they are Indians they look exactly like Africans so that time when I came I was like wow there are many Africans in India and I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know that they are Indians so that was the reality people here in India they are di really different from uh, what I saw in the TV, movies, and all that. They are really, really different. And like back home, the same people you see in TV are the same people you see when you go outside there. You see the same people. But here, the reality is different. So I don't know uh, whether... They, I don't know what criteria they use in selecting people that act the movies. I don't know. But that's it. That was my expectation and, and reality. So another, guys, another thing I, I was expecting, I was expecting India to be really, really poor. Before coming to India, I researched, after getting admission, so many people are telling me, why did you choose to go to India? India is really a poor country, the population is more, this, that. So I decided to Google that time, so Tamil Nadu to be specific. So what I was seeing in Google, let me tell you guys, sometimes internet can mislead people. What I was seeing in the internet, they are showing me floods, they are showing me that people are poor, blah, 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 blah. blah. But when I came, they are, not, they are not the way they are painted to be in the internet. So they are not, they are, 
they are poor people okay just like any other country in my country there are poor people in any any other country even america poor people are there right here also the same poor people are here but they are not as poor as i thought in my mind okay they are rich indians are rich so imagine uh like i don't i don't see there are poor people but not as poor as the way i thought so majority are rich okay and even if they are poor like financially and uh, uh, materialist material wise like they don't have they are rich like uh, life wise they are so happy people they are rich and like africa you'll find someone that is having everything but poor is always sad always uh, frowning the face so rich uh, wealth is not all about material things so indian people they are really really rich that's the reality guys rich you will find someone having uh, jewelry gold chain and all that but if you see the person like they are i don't know how to explain about if you've been to india you will understand what i'm saying they are not that poor okay the and india guys is a self sufficient country okay like they don't import food india india mostly they eat uh, rice in southern part of india north india they eat the uh, wheat so and all these things guys they don't import they just grow by themselves they have it. everything is available for them so they don't import food which is which makes them rich right if you have food you have shelter and everything that means you are rich right and like other countries you don't have where to sleep no food you you have to import food from other countries Sub, sometimes shortage of food you will import so india it doesn't happen they have their own food so they are rich they are not poor the way i expected another expectation guys i was expecting india to be very dirty okay like yeah we all know that india is among the dirtiest countries in the world right yeah yeah it's true but if you've never been to india you will think that india is as filthy like dirty like you just feel like india is dirty every corner that's not the truth okay if you come to india you'll find some other beautiful places other clean places okay like it's not as dirty as as uh, it is said to be if you see in pictures the internet they will show you uh, uh, where they dump uh, garbage and all that they won't show you other clean sides they'll just depict that part of dirtiness and show to people but they won't show the clean part but i won't deny that indians india is dirty okay it's dirty because uh, i think uh, waste management is the problem because let me tell you guys here in india one thing i came to realize like they don't they don't they find it normal throwing anything anywhere someone eats biscuit after finishing wherever you are just drop it there peel a banana after finishing just drop wherever if you are in a bus you are in a restaurant anywhere just drop wherever you are and that's that's what causes uh, a litter, littering everywhere so they don't they don't have that mind of let me keep my i don't know it's like there is no strict uh, government regulation that makes them to behave or <laughs> makes them to keep their that yeah i think they, they they also like their indians guys if you go to their homes they are clean it's not like inside their homes they are dirty okay they will clean their homes but outside there the neighbors house they will throw outside there so they don't mind about the public uh, uh, environment they just mind about their small space where they are that's the the, the most uh, that's the problem they mind about where they live they make their places to be clean but outside their uh, place they don't care that one they feel like someone else should take care of it so that's that's what i i can say about the darkness side but the way i was told even i was told there are no toilets in india but it's those are lies guys there are toilets how can a country like india as big as it is as rich as it is 
be without toilets, right? Just you think it's not possible, right? There's, there's no public toilets. They are there, but the problem again with the people, guys, especially the men, they will put for them a urinary where they urinate, okay? Uh, urinary bit those ones yeah but they will not go and use them they will just uh, pee along the road if you go to Bastan, it's really smelly because of people peeing anywhere just along the wall of that public toilet they won't go inside again i think there is no i think they should put fine for people doing that to keep the the place clean another thing in india it's really rare for you to see dustbin you can't see this dustbin you will what i normally do because where i come from in kenya you cannot litter anywhere if you are in town and you are seen dropping and anyone sees you dropping a paper like it's kind of embarrassing you will even feel embarrassed dropping something like you will be seen like is something bad back home and if municipal people see you you will, you will get a fine or even jail for dropping litter, littering places. So it, it's not an excuse that there's no dustbin. There are no dustbins in the streets. Yeah, that's true for real. In restaurants, you will see that just keep outside the the restaurant. But there's no, no dustbins, yeah, but that's not the excuse. Why don't you just carry your something, keep it at home if you reach home? Because the government normally collect a... Uh, waste uh, from houses like now during corona they normally come like three times a week they will come and collect people dustbin imagine from door to door but still you will still keep st still see people dumping uh, things at the roadside anyhow so i don't understand why but it's not as dirty as it is because people make sure their environment is clean but litter the public places their environment if you go to where indians residential places really really clean you won't see plastics you won't see everything but let that person leave his house and go to a public road they will just be dropping litter everywhere so that's it guys they are clean but they, they are clean to themselves they don't mind the public that's what i i i face that's the reality about india yeah <laughs> guys another thing is the what i expected is i expected india to be a really racist country like i was scared i thought they wouldn't even i wouldn't be accepted wherever i'm going to study i, I thought i would just be i won't talk to anyone i'll just keep to myself i knew that people uh, indians are racist that's what was in my mind but when i reached uh, when i came they are not like it's not they are not com they are not racist where i am tamil nadu they are not racist they are welcoming they are friendly like you will feel at home i've never missed home since i came to india because of the way i feel at like nobody shows that uh, attitude of uh, racism to me but some few you know let me tell you in a country every country there are bad people right so the same thing applies to india some are racist and some some of us as foreigners we sometimes confuse uh, ignorance people ignorance with racism like maybe a, a child or maybe a kid a primary school let's say a teenager calls me a negro not because he intended to, to, to it doesn't mean to be racist but the way he learned in school that black people are called negroes negroes because the, the way they will they, they will be shouting hey negro and happy and smiling will be like is he trying to make me feel bad or is he trying to like the expression in the face of the kid he's happy but the, the what he's calling you is opposite of what you expected right he will even like some i won't call that one racism if such kids call me negro and happy i won't call it i will just assume okay because that one they are 
they're, they're ignorant. They don't know who really a, a Negro is, what it means, because they are being taught in school that black people are called Negroes are black people. So they won't understand. So I won't call that one racism. Otherwise, apart from that part, people have never experienced any racism in India, especially Tamil Nadu. I've never. But some are there, some are there that I've experienced. But personally, I've never experienced racism in India. Another expectation, guys, is I never expected to see an African community in India. Not When I say African community, I don't mean uh, foreigners that came to India. No, I don't mean that. I mean African community that are Indians. They are born in India. They are, they are of African origin and they've never stepped their feet in Africa. Like, they are Indians, but of African origin. I never expected to find such people in India because how? Like, it's like Indians that are like Africans. Indians, Indians by birth and everything, but African uh, origin. I never expected, but guys, the reality is they exist. They are there. They are there are about a population of 50,000 all over India, majority being in Karnataka. They are called the cities. The cities, if you see them, the hair, the facial structure, the everything is, the, in fact, they're just Africans. The, the kind of hairstyle, the dances and everything, all their culture is African, but they speak Indian languages, they speak Hindi, they speak Canada, like they're Africans. So guys, that's, it was a shock to me when I saw it was like, what? Really like, I felt at home when I realized, when I got to know that those people existed in India. Though they are, it's a small population, but they are there, they are our brothers, like, we have African community in India, just the same way we have Indian community in Kenya. Guys, uh, my Indian friends, I, I know most of them, they don't know that they are Indians in Kenya. I'm not talking of Indians that were born in India and migrated to Kenya and they live in Kenya. No, I'm talking of Indians that were born in Kenya. They've never stayed their feet in India and they don't even know any relatives in India. Back home in Kenya, they are Kenyans, it said they speak Swahili, they don't even know Hindi. I studied with most of them in my, uh, I mean, school. They, they, they are Indians, like their great great grandparents were uh, railway, uh, railway, uh, what do you call these people? That they, they, during slave, uh, during colonial period, they, they, they were the ones that make a uh, railway. They were used by the white people to make a railway line. So after the whites went, those their great great grandfathers remain in Kenya, and then they continue. Uh, the generation continues. So the current generation, they don't even know who their relatives in India are, but they are of Indian origin. So the same thing. We have Africans the same way. I think it happened the same way also during slave uh, trade and all that. That's how these uh, Africans found themselves in in uh, in India, but they don't know like exactly who, who, who they relate in Africa or those ones in India. They don't know exactly who they relate with in Africa and India. Like they are just they belong to where they are now. So that's it. So guys, that's it for today for my expectation before coming to India and the reality. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what's, which reality shock you and which uh, expectation shock you. I know most of you, the only thing that comes into your mind about India is Taj Mahal, Bollywood. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. Till next time, guys. See you. Kindly subscribe if you are new. And if you are my returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Bye-bye.